Welcome back to the channel, dude. So if you haven't gotten the Strikers Sure Hand yet, I highly recommend it, dude. If you know me and been following me for a while, you know that I hate swords with a passion. I think they're garbage. But dude, I got a god roll for this one for PvE. It's got Surrounded, Swordmaster's Guard, Assassin's Blade, increasing damage doing that, and movement speed. The Surrounded, of course, proccing as well. It's got a Surrounded Spec on it doing bonus damage, and Tempered Edge doing more bonus damage. And to top it all off, the thing's even masterworked for more impact damage, so this thing is hitting like a freaking tank with each swipe that I do. I can even mow down enemies with Surrounded without having any ammo, which I'll show you here in just a second. Before that, I will show you the boss in the forge. This is the Vlunder Forge, obviously. But look at this. 80k a hit with all the bonus damage perks that it has. Insane. It drops after the first one, but the first one you hit does all that bonus damage. And then you have other perks that are still doing bonus damage on top of that. But when you have the full damage output going, it'll jump from the main hit of 40k to 46k. Not counting the three other large numbers that are doing damage, so freaking god rolled for pve for sure dude maybe even pvp but i don't know how well surrounded will work in there and i don't play a lot of pvp to even speak on it but pve for sure dude look at this guy i have no ammo right here just using the surrounded on it and the surrounded uh spec that i have on it right here just bust this dude in the face i mean the thing hits man the surrounded spec procs and it lingers as well so bonus damage and lingering damage whenever it does fade away I can't even think of a better perk to have on this sword versus what it's rolled with unless there's some like hidden or new perk for swords that's only specific for the forge sword. I have no idea, but I feel like this is a curated roll unless somebody knows what the curated roll is. But I just, I don't know man, this thing wrecks and I hate swords like I'm telling you, I do not use them. But the entire strike, all I did was use the sword without doing any other kills except for grenade and standing in it and swiping. And by the end of the strike, I was able to outkill both the dudes. In fact, one guy left before it even like got finished. But by the end, 174, and 40 of those were grenade kills. So that's ridiculous for a sword, dude. That's nothing but walking around with no ammo, basically. So how do you get this sword? So of course you have to buy the bounty from 801 and get the ballistic log. So you need to do two forges and go buy that. Once you get that finished. You pick it up basically and then it'll send you on the quest to go get it so here's the easiest way that i'd found to do this so you got to get a weapon core obtained and then kill 25 cabal most people will tell you to go to the gulch right off top i will say go to winding cove first to at least check to see if the dude's here and of course he was so i was able to knock out the weapon core right off the bat just walk down uh jump off the bridge right here and just pop it get it and then after that i didn't really want to go to the gulch so what i recommend doing is just drive over to firebase hades you can either fast travel to winding cove or you could go to the gulch there's people there but if you want to fast travel back to winding cove then drive to firebase hades i just went in this bottom lost sector right here so just jump down in there you'll kill more than 25 in here so by the time you get it done you'll have this part finished but make sure that you don't melt the boss right away Pick him away until he keeps summoning more adds. Otherwise, you won't get the 25 kills in this lost sector. But this is just the quickest way that I thought to do it right off top. So let's go in there, get it, and then kill him at the end. But don't kill him right away. After that, you got to defeat 50 enemies and then 5 powerful enemies. Just go to the Dreaming City. Wait for the war to happen in front of the Blind Well door entrance. It usually happens all the time. And you don't have to have ammo for this. So I just bought the Eagle Talon, the Black Talon. And just basically did that. And then you gotta get sword multi kills. So just do the same thing. Just stay in the same location. Get your black talon out. Go to work. Whatever sword. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, you don't have to have ammo because you can still hit them with it. Alright, so after that, you need to do your frame. So the seeds. Go ahead and go to Petra so you can get your blind well bounty. And then chances are you can just go to the blind well, knock the seeds out. And people are more than likely doing the tier 3 always because we're so high light now. Why not, you know? But, and of course, if they do the overcharge thing on it to make it a heroic blind well, you can also, you know, knock that out and get a power drop as well. So go back to her, turn it in. Now you have the frame. Now you have to go to Valunder Forts to do this. You can't do Izanami because you have to do what it says first. And then I'm sure after that, it'll let you start unlocking it at Izanami where you can do any forge uh, weapon or whatever. But that's pretty much it, dude. I highly recommend getting it. It's a freaking beast, man. Take my advice on that. Hopefully you'll get that god roll, the same roll that I did. Y'all take it easy, bros. I'll catch y'all next time in space. And since it is Christmas, Merry Christmas, dudes, and have a blessed new year.